Hi, it's Stephanie Ann, and it's September 4th. So, right now I'm just, I'm not doing so well, and I felt like maybe if I talked it out, I would do a little, I don't know, understand myself. Um, the reason I'm not is because I feel really <sighs> confused, I guess, and I think back on, like, everything that I went through in life, and a part of me wonders if I should throw away these journals that I put together, because some things I'll read and think, wow, that's so interesting how I was, you know... Like, I would talk about someday there would be a miracle, and then there really was, and I felt really good throughout July and some of August, and I guess it's it's almost like what comes up must come down, and it feels like I'm going down, and I'm trying really hard to go up, but then I, I read these journals and I wonder, like, what did it mean back then? Like. There are so many things I would say and and feel were the truth and in the end when the miracle came those things weren't even true and I was able to see it differently and not even desire it anymore. So I just think like how do you know anything? And I guess I I'm like trying to get over this stuff. You know this just not, well, I'm over it, but I'm, it's really hard to explain, and because what I don't want is I don't want to know that I need a distraction in life, you know? I'm actually really tired of having to find distractions. I feel like I had to do that for the whole four years, is that I was always told, Distract yourself. And I'm like, I don't want to distract myself. I want to get this problem over with. You know what I mean? And that's how I would feel, like, most of the time. I just get to the point where I thought, I don't want a distraction. I want this over with. And and then it ended, and... It's just, there was so many, like, thoughts and feelings and what I believed, like... I mean, I had, like, full confidence at one point of what I believed was the truth. And and a part of me thinks that, okay, like, to put it plainly, <laughs> once, upon a, once upon a time in my life, I had a best friend and, unfortunately, grew feelings, and I had a video on this, um, but I had to deal with them for... I'm being choked. <laughs> anyway, I had to deal with him for so long. And it was just like a battle, like, up and down. And so many times I'm like, I just want to get over this. I just, you know, want to be out of this. And um, then I would get really happy and have faith. Well, eventually it got to the point that I had to tell myself that what I'm praying for and what I hope for is that this particular person that something happens for them, that I started to just stop caring about myself, to ignore my own feelings, and just do it for them, because I knew that they had a pretty bad path, and I wanted to help them out. Maybe I'm at the point where I'm the one who needs the help, and I need stronger people around me. It used to be the other way around. What? Why am I getting this call? Oh, dear. The number I don't know. Want to witness a call? Hello? Um, no, this is his daughter, though. Okay, I could, um, I could tell him this number and have him call you. Okay. Alright. Bye. I write down this number. I was about to say it out loud. You guys want to call some random person? I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, um, where was I? So I have to text this to my dad. 
What do I have my dad as? Oh, I'm like trying to find him in my contacts. I'm just texting him so I don't have to waste time calling and to save the number out loud because I started this call. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Maybe it's meant to be that I got interrupted so I can stop. <laughs> well, anyway, um, So, for so long, it was, where was I? It's just, oh, I learned how to, I learned, oh, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, right now it feels like I've become the one who needs someone stronger. And I've always felt like the stronger one who wanted to help the weaker. Who knew I'd be at this point? And it's a little difficult, as now I feel like I just need to stop. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> like, I don't want to bring anyone down. And, I mean, I was feeling really great. And I don't want things to just confuse me, thinking, why did I think that then? Does this mean that I don't know anything and nothing means anything? And, like, I wonder these things because it's hard. Because then I get this different, there's so many different fears I'm dealing with and I'm getting rid of some and other ones I'm like, where did this one come from? And one of them is that what did all of that that I went through mean? So, I mean, I learned something, but there was something else in there. Like, I had some really strong desires. Like, really strong. I mean, I was so confident enough to write them in a journal to literally say, this is what I believe will happen. And I mean, I got to that point, right? So now, those things scare me as if, is something going to come back in my life, but I don't even want it now? And I'm like, well, why am I scared? Because if it's supposed to come back, then I'll want it when it comes back. But I don't want it now. I don't know if any of that makes sense. I'm tired of thinking. I mean, I got to a really great, really great point in my life like really awesome happiness and and the past couple days have been really difficult for me all over again and it's not because of the past anymore it's new stuff it's I guess it's bound to happen and am I willing to still fight and I am I know no matter how I'll how much I feel like this. It's just... I really wanted to, like, just go towards something, and I still, honestly, I still feel stuck here. And not only that, but I feel stuck here by myself. You know, and I have people. I mean, I have, you know, my family and, like, two friends here, and one of them's like usually busy but sometimes we'll text and um any close friends I actually have are not actually close they live somewhere else but I just don't understand and now I'm like I don't even know who to talk to because I don't want to just continuously annoy like the same person and I don't understand what's happening right now, and maybe I'll surpri I'll be surprised like I thought, and could watch this video one day and be like, huh, yeah, you had no idea, but uh, if you just wait out a little, and so I keep telling myself, just wait it out, Stephanie, just wait it out, but goodness, the waiting gets so hard. And I, I feel like I've been waiting. Like, how much longer am I supposed to wait? So, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've already spent ten minutes just sitting here, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. And I don't know who watches these 
really I don't I don't like no one really comments so when I there's views sometimes I get a like I'm not sure who's liking them but anyway I guess it's easier to talk to anonymous than it is to talk to someone you know the hardest thing for me to take from someone is silence because I used to get that all the time uh, just silence and it would freak me out because I think that I did something wrong and and I don't like displeasing people it like really just it's hard for me you know especially if I really do care about the person and if they're not talking to me or something then I'm like what did I do wrong and I mean should I throw these journals away <laughs> I mean it shows my past but it's really hard to read sometimes because I was so confident in what I was saying and it's like awkward to read now and I mean I'm a human I was I guess bound to make a mistake how was I supposed to know the future sometimes I imagine that maybe I've got to the point that if I ever do become ready to actually get to know someone who wouldn't do what was done to me in the past, um, that they would have to be someone who could help me through this, you know, um, through these new feelings and this new life and help me to be strong again. Because I didn't realize that I was. You know, I'm like having to build all that strength that I lost. I have to build it all up again. And maybe the July was just my vacation and now I'm back on in fighting again. I don't know. I want to be okay, but but I allowed something new to not that I allowed it just happen that it made me happy like added to the happiness like I was already happy but then something else added to the happiness and then I just got afraid that I would just ruin that and I didn't mean to ruin it and I regret things that I said to this person because I was just emotional and I didn't mean it in the way that it looked it made me look horrible and now I feel completely different and I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just doing a horrible job. <sighs> but things will get better, I'm sure. And I just got to wait it out. once upon a time I never imagined I never imagined something different than what I knew like I mean I was like constantly up and down trying to be strong throughout a battle for four years and and now I'm like I was doing a lot better but you know, you think you guard your heart, but some people just sneak their way in, apparently, for me. It's only happened twice, but... And then you realize that you're starting to, you know, care for someone, and then you want to overly do it and make them happy, or I don't know, that's just who I am, I guess. And then it remind see it reminds me of what I was once able to do, and and I miss that you know what I really miss from what I went through is is like really caring and helping and making someone happy, and even though I had a weird situation where it's like they didn't want anything more, but they still knew how to appreciate things I got them, so it was like kind of just ignoring that part, and I don't want that anymore. Like I think back on it, and I'm like. Okay, so I'm glad I'm not there doing that anymore, but the part of me that liked to care for someone, like, I miss that sometimes. I missed having 
feeling like I have purpose in life. And now it's like I'm trying to find a new purpose, I guess. Anyone want some teeth and lips? <sighs> anyway, um... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tonight in the next five minutes. I I don't know. Um, this is a long video. These are really yummy. I like strawberry. So, here's to hoping that I'm just, maybe I'm one block away from whatever it is that's going to help me out of this, and I need to stay strong, and just trust that there is a way, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and that I will make it through. I don't have to worry or overthink anything, and I don't mean to. <sighs> My patience has run low, and oh man, six years ago, I was able to just live my life. Um, I was young, obviously about 15 years old and I used to sit in class and when there's nothing to do like in history or math I would just get a piece of paper and write to someone I didn't even know I was like I don't know you yet but I'm gonna write you today and a part of me wishes that I could do that again but now there's just been too many stuff that has <laughs> corrupted my mind well not corrupted but you know, it's just like back then, it's like you're so young, you don't expect anyone real to actually want to write to someone real. Well, at least for me. I mean, at 15 was young to me, you know. And I, sometimes I miss that younger Stephanie Ann. But I wouldn't want to go back because then I'd have to relive everything it went through. And God knows I can't do that. <laughs> but, sorry. Anyway, um, who I can do this. It's like, I feel like you gotta find a reason to be happy, and, I mean, everything to me, it's like, nothing today. Like, I'm trying to find something in today, instead of in the future, because yeah, my future plans for traveling excites me, but they're in the future. They're not right now. I don't have enough money now. Like, if I could get on a plane right now and take off now, I totally would. I would. I couldn't go out of the country because I don't have my passport yet. But, you know, I would go and get out if I could. It's really tempting. It's tempting to move my trip up early, you know. But I'm not going to do that just because I want to run away from here. So, I'm just letting you go with the flow and just setting my goal to next summer and if something comes up that allows me to go beforehand, I will. I'd have to have really good reason to leave my work for that, but, you know. So, I don't know. And... I'm like, I know I'm totally different from the world of everyone that I know. Like, meeting someone like me is very rare. A girl. Meeting a girl like me is very rare. And when I do, we're like, wham. And I mean, I have a friend right now. She and I are like twins. But even then, she's not the same in the area that I'm talking about. So, you know. 
I mean, like, I just feel like so many people these days, they, and I've been told to do this, but I don't want to, but they just, when they feel alone, they want to fulfill it by finding someone and dating around. I think hanging out is what I would rather do, like, I don't mind hanging out, but I'm really easily uncomfortable around a guy by myself. Because even there's this one time that a guy took me to, um, we had a photo shoot with his friends. His friends left, and I was left alone with him, and then he was going to take me home. And as he's taking me home, this, mind you, this is a guy who doesn't, is not interested in me or anything. He's just someone that a lot of my friends, we all just know him. And totally safe and trustworthy and everything. But I felt uncomfortable anyway. I was just like, this is weird, this is different, oh my gosh, I don't want, you know? And so because of that, I don't normally ever will, you know, hang out with them. And so I don't want to enter the world of dating because to me that's temporary. And that's just trying to find someone to fulfill your loneliness or something. I don't know. And I'm more of the, like, finding someone genuine. And at one point, like, I knew someone who genuinely got to know me for me. Only... They never intended to ever, ever feel more. Like, I was literally told it will never happen. And I knew this for four years, but I was still like, but maybe someday. That's just because I had to hope for something, right? Like, why would I want a, a hopeless thing? So I just, I cannot get myself to want to ever enter that life. So I won't. So, like, I'm willing to be this, like, it's really hard, but I'd rather be alone than with someone, than with different people, and just continuously go from one person to the next. And I'm a one, one-track mind person. <laughs> like, if there's, it can only ever be one person on my mind at a time. And, I mean, I've not switched like that over time, it was always... I mean, it's been like two people and that's it. And they were just friends. But I'm just like, that's the type of person I am. So it's dangerous, I guess. Because, <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's a good thing. But it's dangerous in a way because then my mind is, is open. But whatever. None of this matters. It doesn't matter. And I'm sick of it mattering. <laughs> I am. I like... I mean, I'm not going to put on Facebook like, Man, I wish I had someone to go do, do dinner plans with. Like, I'm, I'm not going to sound desperate. I mean, I'm just like, whatever. Because to me, it's like, it's going to be worth the wait. But goodness gracious, 21 years is a long time. <laughs> 20, almost 22 years. Maybe for my birthday, I'll get a best friend. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um... This is embarrassing. Like, my impatient self embarrasses me. I was totally fine waiting for five years. Not really. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, gosh. Like, I don't understand myself. I say one thing, I show the other, and it's like... Who are you, Stephanie, and why are you so annoying? No one will ever love me. My friend used to joke about that. It's kind of a mean joke when you think about it. I don't believe it, obviously, but yeah. So it's almost 25 minutes of me just like telling whoever's listening of how I feel. So, you know what? Just know that I'm gonna I'm gonna move on from this. I'm going to be totally different at one point and I'm really just I'm really trying not to over process anything. Um going based off of today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but today. And sometimes the today isn't even that great. And that's why I feel like this. You know. I'm just gonna hope for the best and, I mean, a friend told me, she said, Stephanie, you're going to get hurt in life. You can't just avoid things just so you don't get hurt. 
And after she took, said that, I thought, yeah, I know, actually. I understand. I'm not scared of getting hurt so much as I'm scared of making a mistake. And so I'm like, but we all make mistakes, right? I don't have any intention to purposely make a mistake. It may just happen. But then I thought, wait a minute. The mistakes I shouldn't be making is doing things I know I shouldn't be doing. But befriending people is actually okay. <laughs> it's not a mistake. Befriending and getting to know people is a good thing, in my opinion. It's exactly what I believe. Five years ago, six or five, whatever years ago, I told myself, I'm only going to make friends with people. And through a friendship is how I wanted to be able to, you know, like, I just, only friendships as to never go so deep into something and give yourself away to someone and then them hurt you in the end. And I can only imagine that that would hurt, you know? And I'm going to try my best to avoid it and not purposely go that way. If it does happen, hopefully it doesn't, but you know. I'm like, I am a serious person. <laughs> Which is funny to say, because I'm like totally, like, I can be the total opposite and not be serious at all and be so hyper and weird, especially late at night when I have no sleep. <laughs> but that's just me, you know? But then there's the other part of me that is just like deep. You know, I... I love little things that like have meaning, put meaning into like everything. Like this is why it's so hard for me to give people gifts because if I if there's no meaning in that gift whatsoever, I feel like it is a waste of money and of a gift. <laughs> it's funny. It's true though. You know. <laughs> like I like this. I just randomly picked this off my oh, oh my goodness. This is Garden Rain Candle, and it's the best, well, one of the best scents. Another one is another one I have. Anyway, my mom got me this. So I could give this to someone, and if it has no meaning in it, I feel like it's a waste of money to buy it. This will always have meaning to me, actually, because this is my favorite scent. <laughs> and um, I guess it depends on who you give it to, though. Like, I wouldn't give this to my sister, because she doesn't care for the scent. She doesn't care that it's my favorite, either, so... <laughs> anyway, the point is, I feel like it's a waste of money to buy stuff that has no meaning whatsoever. Is that weird? And sometimes people don't get gifts for that, and that... I don't mean that in a bad way, it's just, I'll be like, What do I get them? And then enough days go by that I'm like, Oh yeah, their birthday was a month ago. And then if I'm poor, I'm definitely like, Oh, what do I do? But, anyway, um, so many things on here have meaning, or I put new meaning into it, like, randomly this, I bought it because it's huge, and I thought, that is so cool, and it matches my room, but then, I gave it the name Peg, so therefore, now, I think of that every time I see it, and, um, and that's it. Everything else is just like my phone, my medicine, my camera, my deodorant, my flip, my camcorder. I have a lot of cameras on my desk right now. I have Aiden, still connected to the computer. I have my flip. I have my camcorder. I have my deodorant. I have Pepsi, and I have this little orange cat. Oh, and I have this giant rainbow buttons bar. I was wondering what happened to this. <laughs> Yum. It really is yummy. My mom, like, she loves these. She does. Oh, fresh. Still good. It's still good. It just fell on the floor. It's no big deal. Ew, it got like lint on it. That fast? Like, really? I'm going to clean it off because I'm not wasting this. This is valuable stuff, seeing as I can't buy that. this here. Giant rainbow buttons bar. <laughs> anyway, you know what I need to do now that we've reached a half hour? 
clean my room. I'm going to show you why I need to clean my room. You see that? Oh, sorry. See those pillows? Those are supposed to go on my bed, but like, look, there's my bed. The reason I have a towel on my bed is because I got back from work and actually had like makeup on and I and makeup on white pillows. Yeah, no. So I always use a towel because I never go to sleep with makeup on or anything like that. And I kind of don't wear makeup a lot because I'm trying to like not dirty my face like that as it heals again. But like here and there I might wear it. Well, anyway, I use a towel to cover it so that I don't dirty my sheets. And then I need to wash my sheets and then I need to wash clothes. Basically, all this junk on here just happened over time as I don't spend time apparently like, I don't spend that much time sometimes that I just, like, throw something off to the side and I'll leave. But I don't like it messy. So I need to do something about it. Anyway, sorry if this video started off depressing, Stephanie. Um, I guess it just helps to get things out, even if it's on a public video on YouTube. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care. I'm an honest person. I just get it all out there. <laughs> If I could rewind and relive July, I totally would. That was a good month. But I might as well make this month good. It's just like, you, I can't control the things around me. And so it's like, I can try my best to make myself feel better and myself happy. But literally, like, to be completely honest. TBCH, to be completely honest. In July, it was the surprises. It was like things put in me, things given to me that I couldn't have controlled. For that happiness that really happened and then it was like my job to keep it up to accept it and to enjoy it and i did and i'm glad and and now it's like i feel like a lot of stuff has been like just taken away like that and it's like wait what am i be happy about now what do i do and i'm not really sure what lesson i'm supposed to be learning right now but i want to learn it and i don't know you know and, and people do play a part in my happiness like Having good, um, good, uh, what's the word? Being on good terms with my friends, like, you know, if I'm not and something might bother me. Like, not too long ago, I had a friend that, um, I was, like, really confused and, I mean, I never got an apology for how they made me feel and they probably don't believe they made me feel that way or that I, they, that I should have felt it. And, but I got like all worked up and upset over it thinking, why do they say this? Why do they act like this? Why don't they do this? And I got all like this and then thankfully I had people, you know, helping me out, two people to be exact, and calm me down and reminding me, hey Stephanie, it, don't worry about it, you're, you know, good. So, <laughs> yeah, um, but still like something like that, like when there's, when we're not on good terms, it's kind of like weird. Well, anyway, I saw this friend at when we were working for open house for the preschool and we started like kind of laughing and like I would look at her and be nice to her and everything and we I felt like old times again we may not be texting or hanging out or anything but um it felt like we were okay so I don't have to feel awkward around her so that helped and um yeah we're actually not even going to be working together we're going to be working on opposite days so I won't even see her, but maybe sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that really helped. But if there's ever something between a friend and I, you know, it, it will sometimes like bring me down because I really want it to be better. And I'm the type of person who will do something about it or at least say something as much as I can and then leave it up to them, I guess. But I don't know what happened to my British best friend, though. I've been reviewing all the candies he bought me. I hope he's doing okay, so yeah. The odds of him watching this video may be slim, as he's a very busy person, but British best friend, if you're watching this video, sorry. I hope you're doing well, and everything, you know, your, your family members, I hope they're doing well, and maybe we can skype soon because we haven't skyped since july <laughs> july it seems to be exact i kind of remember because my skype tells me <laughs> i check like i'm checking right now 
<laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, but yeah. Hope you're doing well. And everyone else, thanks for eavesdropping. <laughs> Let's hope for an awesome September. I'm, I'm just going to hope for an awesome September. You never know what could happen. <laughs>